cancel culture. A content creator's biggest fear, other than DMCA strikes. Ah, oh, come on, I just wanted to listen to my T Swift. <laughs> Cancel culture has always been a topic up for discussion for a few weeks now, and it doesn't seem like this conversation will go away. But if you've been living under a rock, you probably have no idea why I'm talking about this. So let's fix that. Cancel culture is briefly defined as a practice of engaging in mass canceling as a way of expressing disapproval and exerting social pressure. Just like how we exerted social pressure to get into Area 51. We didn't get in, but we were Naruto running like effin' champs. Cancel culture has always had some presence in history, whether it's getting rid of pedophiles, chopping off king's heads, or roasting a girl with seven boyfriends. Yes, Katarina, we see you with your eighth boyfriend, now get a room. Jeez. The reason I wanted to talk about this is actually cancel culture has gone too far as of lately. And we can see this in many instances that have happened in the past few years. But what really has me going is a post made by Disguised Toast a few weeks ago, which addresses his, quote, problematic past. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but the full twit longer can be found in the description below. And if you made it this far, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below, and subscribe for more content. In the twit longer, Toast addresses a few jokes that he has made in his past that could get him cancelled in the near future. Overall, the post ends by essentially Toast saying, If you are uncomfortable with my style of humor, then it's best not to watch me. I will try to be more considerate, but I expect to still make the occasional edgy joke here and there." End quote. Now from looking through this post, I see no reason why Toast should have been cancelled. Even with Toast's new, younger audience from Among Us, do I think he should have changed his style of content to match his fanbase? No, I actually don't think so. I mean, it's not like he's Jake Paul who's posting these explicit thumbnails to his 10-year-old audience or anything. But the real question is, where do we draw the line on what can and can't get us cancelled? I mean, the obvious one is a literal crime, but if I had lost a million subscribers from jaywalking, I'd have a fit too. I think the best course of action when considering if someone should or shouldn't be cancelled is actually thinking if this person will hurt other people if they continue to have a platform. And no, James Charles, this does not get you out of texting underage boys. That's honestly just questionable. But even if someone is getting cancelled, I think there's usually a chance for a person to get back on their feet. They just need to take the appropriate steps. Just avoid that giant needle in the floor and you won't get hurt. There are always ways to get help through therapy and time, but if you choose to rush anything, you might suffer severely. And in my honest opinion, people can change. However, if you prevent them from becoming a better person, all it leads is to more suffering. Humans make mistakes all the time, not one of us is perfect, and we all love some good spaghetti and meatballs. James! Come back with my spaghetti!